Hello there, my name is Ismaus and this is VFX News by Top Channel 111. First, let's talk about the closure of MPC Vancouver. Uh, this is one of the multiple stu VFX studios owned by Technicolor, the parent company of MPC. MPC Vancouver is known for having worked on the live action movie Lion King, which was nominated for the Golden Globe Awards. MPC's Vancouver studio ceased operations early morning yesterday, and if you Google MPC Vancouver, you'll see that their offices are permanently closed. According to an email sent to employees on Thursday morning, before a general meeting was called, it was revealed that increase in external market pressures in Vancouver and more attractive opportunities in other locations has forced uh, the closure of the studio. But their studios in Toronto, Montreal, LA, Paris and other locations will remain open. The Vancouver office was also responsible for the redesign of the character in Sonic uh, the Hedgehog movie, which had at its put in overtime hours and rumor has it that some of this overtime has not been paid for yet. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time this has happened. Back in 2014, the documentary Rhythm and Hughes Life After Pi revealed internal problems within the VFX industry after the VFX house Rhythm and Hughes filed for bankruptcy the same year as they won the Academy Award for the best visual effects for Life After Pi. About 20 employees were immediately affected by the closure according to a person familiar with the situation. This has also sparked a debate on Reddit whether the mass layoffs don't violate a ton of laws on mass layoffs as outlined by the government and whether the MPC employees should form a class action. I'll be leaving links in the descriptions as this might be useful for you if you want to break into the visual effects industry and take a look at how people in the industry view uh, these companies and it seems like a lot of people find MPC as uh, the worst place to work as a visual effects artist. Some of them have been able to compile a list of other uh, studios that you may not want to, to work at. These are very important debates uh, to kind of get a feel of. I'll leave that there. Uh, in other news, we had Autodesk release uh, Arnold 6, which comes now with uh, Arnold GPU, which lets you render both on CPU and GPU. We also saw the release of Maya 2020. I'll be leaving links for the trailers and other things. Uh, also, Pixar Animation Studios released Renderman 23. So all the links will be in the description so that you can check out uh, the different features that, that come with those new uh, projects. Yeah, thank you for watching. You can leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.